What's up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome to another edition of Coos's Corner. Sit back, relax, let me pour you a shot of college football content. Obviously, this is a car video. It was an impromptu video because I wanted to talk to Mountaineer Nation a minute about the transfer of Akeem Mesidor. This one hurts, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. Up until now, the guys that have been leaving have been Dana Holgerson recruits. That changed today. Akeem Mesidor was recruited and brought to Morgantown by Neil Brown. Neil Brown was blindsided by this move. Neil Brown held an impromptu press conference today to announce this to the media. He said he was hurt and he was sad was the two emotions he described. He said words that a football coach probably shouldn't use. So I, I can tell this bothers him. He spent time in the King Mesador's living room, probably talking to his family, probably got to know the kid really well. He's obviously been at Morgantown, what, three years now or two and a half at least. So I'm sure he had a good relationship with the, with the young man and he's hurt by it. And he said he did not see it coming. He said, usually when guys transfer, they see some change in behavior. They see some signs that they're not happy. He did not see that with Akeem Mesador. Akeem Mesador has been at practice. Now, he has been injured, so he's not been participating in all the activities, but he's been there. And he just saw him two days ago on no signs of anything. He said everything looked fine. Then all of a sudden, out of the blue, he decides to enter the portal. Coach Brown hinted there's, a, there's some shady things going on within the profession. I, I have a tendency to agree with him on this. I, this reeks of tampering to me. I just don't see how a guy can go from being happy and maybe he wasn't happy. Maybe he was doing a good job of hiding it. I don't know. But, I mean, how has everything changed that fast? I don't understand it. I just think the, NC, the NCAA has got to do something to get this transfer portal crap under control and stop this tampering stuff from happening. But back to the subject. This one hurts also because... That was the one position we were going to be the strongest at this year, and he was a huge piece of that. Now, do I think our, our defensive line is now going to be bad because of this? No, I don't. I guess the silver lining is it's one of the deepest positions on the team. We've got a really good backup in Jordan Jefferson. We've got guys like Sean Martin, Jalen Thornton, and along with some others that have really come along the last two seasons and, and has played some good football. It's time for those guys to step up. Next man up mentality is what's going to have to take. Neil Brown said that he hasn't slept much the last day and a half for obvious reasons. Said he's done a lot of thinking. And he's and he's uh, he's still positive. He still feels good about this team, about this staff, about and about this season. Uh, and I want to give a shout-out to Coach Brown for coming out and being honest about this and for talking to the media about this. Uh for being honest about the fact that he thinks Akeem May is making a mistake. But at the same time, he said he still loves Akeem and he wishes him nothing but the best. So, you know, kudos to Coach Brown for coming out and talking about it. This is the first time he's really come out and been this open about a recruit leaving. And I, and I, and I respect that. That's what us fans have been kind of asking for. Because... Now, obviously, you know, he, he still says there's nothing wrong going on in the program, nothing we need to worry about. You know, obviously, that's it's, it's hard, to, hard to accept that sometimes as a fan, but I'm going to try to remain positive here. I'm not panicking. I'm disappointed. I'm concerned, but I'm not going to panic. Now, if we see two or three more guys like, like an Akeem Mesador that's a high-level player leave, then I might panic. But as of right now, I'm not panicking. Coach Brown's real excited about the 2023 class. He says it might be the best class yet. So, you know, if, if all the guys that are committed in the 23s comes to Morgantown and sticks with it, along with the 2022 class, the guys that are on the roster now that are going to stay, I still feel good about the direction our program's heading. We can't let one player dictate the, 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 the program, and it won't. West Virginia will survive this. West Virginia will overcome this. We've always been overcomers. It's what we are. It's the kind of people we are. It's who we are. It's what the program stands for. And Coach Brown even mentioned at the end of his statement, we still got a bunch of guys that are going to go out there on Saturdays and bust their ass for the name on the front of the jersey and not on the back. And 
that's not a direct quote, but it's pretty close to what he said. So I'm, I'm still excited about this season. I don't think all is lost. Yes, this is a great player we lost today. Yes, it hurts our depth at defensive line. The, now, one question remaining, will he go out in the portal and find a defensive lineman to replace Mesador? We will see. Coach Brown even hinted that he has some – he thinks they have some really good news coming in the next couple of weeks. And we can all speculate what that might be. Does that mean we're getting JT Daniels? Does that mean we have some other highly touted transfers coming in or, or maybe 2023 20, kids that are going to commit? Don't know yet, but I'll be anxious to see what that is. Well, guys, this is all I got for you. I don't have a bunch of stats or anything. I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts, my general thoughts on this situation. I apologize for the car video, but like I said, I wanted to get this out to you guys that may not have had a chance to read it yet, kind of give you my thoughts on it, my opinions on it. Mountaineer Nation, hang in there. Don't hang your heads. The, the sky's not falling. The world's not going to end. The sun will come up tomorrow. Q Country Roads.